This is an Austin Healy. It's a cute little car that has a grand total of four gears. You can max it out on the windy, twisty roads of the countryside. And here in Force of Britain, we can't do that. But obviously, you guys know, going 90 something kilometers an hour somewhat quickly, so it's 60 at a fair pace, is actually quite good for this car. In fact, that's when you have to upshift into fourth gear and in fourth gear, all mayhem, all ham goes loose. Just kidding, I didn't modify this car except for just a few things. However, though, it can go 120, 130 kilometers an hour, so you guys know that it can go fast, or at least as fast. Fast as you'll get it, and 120 to 100 something kilometers an hour, I believe, is the equivalent of about 100 miles an hour. And you can get that in fourth gear when it starts to redline, right before it starts to redline. Now, right now, we're running it in third in beautiful, rainy British weather, so we're gonna go finish this. But um, the windshield wipers work. That that's that's good. So in Forza, I got this as a first-hand car, probably from a wheel spin. I have gotten some second-hand cars on other accounts, but I, I don't like getting second-hand cars on this account. On this account, plus I I can't. I'm, I'm not allowed to. On this account. On this account, though, I'm going 110 kilometers an hour with these nice, cute little headlights. It's an Austin Healy. In fact, this is a Sprite Mark One, a classic British sports car with my chrome, with my chrome robot. Now the Austin Healey series, the Austin Healey basically is a great British sports car company. And I had never really driven this car before today. In fact, there's so many things I haven't driven in this game until today and yesterday. Because I always like driving new cars I haven't driven before. I think it's been over a month since I've driven my McLaren Senna. Yeah. That's what I mean. However, though, with my little my my Chukaraka horn, that is fitting with an American brute like a Mustang, it's not really fitting with this. In fact, nothing is really fitting with this, except for just a normal car horn, because you know what? This is elegant. If this was an adult, it would know many things and go to wine parties. Yeah, I did take that from Jeremy, a scene from Jeremy Clarkson when they went to Patagonia. That's also where I um, decided why the horn I wanted to use, the Luchu Caraca horn, and... I made the reference to the Mustang with the Chuka Rocco. That's my favorite top of your episode. Back to this though, with these two Nissan Titans. I have one also. We have some British sports cars. Well, I think that's a Cortina back there. Um, yeah, this is a beautiful car. In fact, this is just an average. I just went 210 kilometers an hour in this beautiful British sports car in this beautiful British weather because for the first time in Britain this isn't raining <laughs> so yeah this is a beautiful car and you guys should get this and this is a, a sprite mark one if you guys want to know now I will be doing my next episode on the Lotus Cortina uh, this is just my Forza reviews 
but it's nice. It has no bite to it, so I was just starved. Classic sports car. If you guys just don't want to buy anything like, oh, I don't know. For example, if we go over to my Jaguar section, I have an E Type right here. That has a bit of bite, and the Jaguar XJS is also a fun car, but these classic sports cars aren't really keeping you buyers from buying them. And in fact, a lot of you guys don't even look at classic cars in Forza, and now and when you guys do get a classic car, it's usually a GT40 Mark One, and GT40 series is pat is really powerful. In fact, I own a Lotus Cortina or a Ford Cortina. In a Ford Mustang GT Cube, that would be 1965. So that that would be a, a inline six engine. But a lot of these cars, either way though, have a lot of bite to them. They're really powerful, and that's the one thing that you guys can't necessarily be bothered by. In fact. The Austin Healy is a beautiful car. That's that. And if we look at cars like my Lotus Cortina, which I have respect, it's just the low sleeper Lotus Cortina. It doesn't go too fast. And third gear goes 110 and can drift. So it's a great car. And it's actually. If we unmodify this, raise the suspend, re-raise the suspension system. This is just a family saloon, for example, right there. So, yeah, the Austin Healey doesn't have any bite to it, but cars like a Lotus Cortina, at least mine, are a lot more powerful, are a lot more violent on the road, and my GT40 will spin make you spin out so if you guys want a classic car that's not too powerful not too slow just a cruising car that car is the one because when i was driving it flat out it was still going cruiser speed pace for this in fact i'm going about the same speed in this car and i'm drifting as what my average speed for that car and this is just your average lotus cortina now keep in mind, 228, set by my stepbrother, right, is a lot compared to this car, because this has four gears and I'm redlining it right now. So yes, if you guys want a car in Forza, go with the Austin Healey. And if you're like me, then... Don't go for an Austin Healey, even though it's a nice, pleasant drive, car to drive. Go for a Lotus Cortina and modify the crap out of it, because you guys know that the Grand Tour is amazing. We should always respect the Grand Tour. I know. Peace. I'll be back next time. Freshman Vlog Season 2, Episode 1 will come out soon.